It's one of the state's most important crops. They're even on every standard license plate in Florida, the orange. And according to the Department of Agriculture, the fruit may be in big trouble. Tiny insects called psyllids are to blame. They carry a virus that eventually disables the root system, causing the tree to die. Channel 4's Heather Lee joining us live. So, Heather, are we talking only about orange trees being affected? No, the insects can feed on just about any type of citrus tree. You've got lime, lemon trees, and of course, the orange tree. Oranges are huge here in Florida. In fact, 90% of orange juice in America comes from the Sunshine State, and so less trees means less of these. This is a Orlando Tangelo. Michael Barwald knows his citrus. This one's already had some flower even in a greenhouse. He also knows what can kill the beloved trees he's worked hard to grow. They attack only new growth. Almost all insects, psyllids, aphids, white fly, leaf miners, uh, all attack the new growth because it's soft and easy for them with their little teeny microscopic mouth parts to attack. And they are striking the Florida orange industry one root system at a time. The psyllid is a white, almost opaque little insect who can really not technically fly, kind of jumps and skips and hops and floats. And they carry in their little teeny body a virus that is put into the leaf as they suck and try to chew on the leaf. He says the virus makes its way down to the root of the tree. The roots react, causing them to not absorb nutrients like fertilizer, and that leads to death after a few years. You can kill the insect, you can't kill the disease once it has the virus. The disease was confirmed in South Florida about a decade ago and has slowly been pulling down production since. According to the Department of Agriculture, orange production is expected to be down 20% this season. It's also the smallest orange harvest in more than 50 years. Barwald says researchers are desperately trying to find a solution. They're trying different citrus rootstocks. They're trying one of the tests is to literally tint the tree and bring it up to a temperature that really kills the virus without killing the tree. Now, of course, the big fear is how bad this will affect the economy. According to VisitFlorida.com, the growing, packing, processing, and selling of citrus in Florida generates about $9 billion a year. The industry also generates about $1 billion in tax revenue that supports schools, highways, and health care services. Now, the U.S. Department of Agriculture is creating an emergency response uh, framework to battle the problem, and they are expected to uh, inform us on their plan. Plan coming up tomorrow. For now, we're live. Heather Lee, Channel 4, the local station.